In this video, we will teach you how to configure an IO-Link sensor using Pactor and a USB IO-Link master. You will need an IO-Link sensor, in this case we're using the IO-Link Uprox 3 sensor, a USB IO-Link master, a double-ended 4-pin M12 cord set, and a laptop or PC. First, let's download Turk Software Manager. You can do this by going to www.turk.com forward slash TSM. On the page, scroll down and click the download link for Turk Software Manager and follow the prompts. The download process typically takes one to two minutes. With Turk Software Manager downloaded, click the plus symbol next to the IO Link button and check the following selection boxes FTT Frame Application Packware, DTM for IODD Configurator, DTM for USB IO Link Master 1.1. For adding IODDs manually, you will also select the IODD library for the series of IO Link sensor you are using. In this case, we are using the Uproc series of IO-Link sensors. Lastly, you will click the download button. With the necessary components installed, open the IODD DTM configurator. Select Add IODDs and IODD Finder. Select Hans Turk GMBH. Select the series of IO-Link sensor you will be configuring. In this case, we are configuring the IO-Link Uprox BI-20U-M30-IOL6X2-H1141. We now have all the necessary software. Using the M12 cord set, plug the Uprox 3 IO-Link sensor into the USB IO-Link master. Then plug the USB IO-Link master into your PC using the USB cord. Now let's configure the sensor. To configure the sensor in Pactware, open Pactware. Click Device, Add Device. In the pop-up window, select IO-Link USB Master 2.0, then select OK. In the project window, right-click on the IO-Link USB Master, then select Add Device. In the pop-up window, select the IO-Link product series for the device you are trying to configure. In the project window, right-click on the product, and select Connect. Once again, right-click on the product and select Parameter. The Parameter window will open. Here is where we change the IO-Link device configuration. To read the current configuration of the sensor, select the Read from the Device button. In this example, we will change the sensor to have a 60% of the rated operating distance and an NPN switching output. To store the sensor configuration into the device, select Write to Device. We are all set. The IO-Link device is now configured. The sensor can now be disconnected from the IO-Link USB master. You can save your Pactor device configuration to upload into other sensors by clicking File, Save As, and then selecting the location where you'd like to save it. Thanks for watching.